Hello YouTube, this is Seth Lewis 07. Just wanted to give you a coin collection and a money update. Uh, some of the coins you've probably seen before already on my coin video, but I want to make an update with some of the ones that I have received. So we can start off with the nickels. These are the 1932 Sorry, 1939 nickels. So the 1940, 1941, 1942. I also have all the silver nickels. Uh, 42 silver nickel to uh, 1945 silver nickels. They're down here with the rest of the silver. Uh, Let's see here, 46, 47, 48, and 49, and then I have a Liberty Head V nickel, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, and I have a Buffalo nickel. And then I have a 1950, 1951, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. And this one is just worn a little bit, more than a little bit, a lot. Yeah, I don't know if it's what year it is, anything like that. I figured it's kind of cool, kind of worn a little bit, so I would keep it. It's kind of uneven a little bit too. There. Um, and then my half dollars, uh, Benjamin Franklin, half dollar. It was found in my mom's basement of her old house. My sister found it and gave it to me. Can't really see it too much, but it is a 1958. Then I have 19 Liberty Walking Half Dollars, I believe. Yeah, these were my first video, so if you want to see about those, you can check them out. Um, and then I have a couple bicentennial half dollars. Um, and this is a 1989 Kennedy half dollar. It's my birth year. Figured I'd throw that in there. Um, more half dollars. Uh, the silver halves. 40% silver. Um, I believe they're all. 1968, uh, 68, uh, 68, and this one's in pretty good condition. I mean, it's not, it doesn't have the yellow, like the smoke color or anything. Um, it's really good shape. Most of these coins, I'd say 90% of these coins come from my job. Um, working at Sonic, I don't work at Sonic anymore, I work at Walgreens now, and I find a lot of my nickels working at Walgreens, just digging through the drawers and everything, my boss and everything, everybody kind of get mad at me for opening up all the change and there being like, like $8 in nickels and $20 in dimes sitting in the tray. Um, these are the silver nickels, uh, 1943, 1944, 42, 43, 44, and 45. An interesting note about the 1942, um, they, mid-year, uh, the war nickel came out, and they started making them with silver. Um, so, keep an eye out for the 1942 nickels, because... Uh, some are war nickels and some aren't, and I have a lot of both.
well, a lot of the the non war nickels. They're actually hard to find nowadays. You can't find them anywhere. Um, silver quarters, uh, 1962. I got that at McDonald's here in Kansas City. I was so happy to get that. I'm really excited. They're a lot harder to find than anything. I can't find silver quarters worth anything. They're too hard to find. And then I have a 1946. I believe I got that one at Sonic. Um, let's see, my silver dimes, um, mercury dime, this is the only coin besides the V-nickel over here that I had purchased, I bought the V-nickel for about $1.50, and then I got the mercury dime for $2, I think, and then these two I found at Walgreens, um, one guy came in and bought cigarettes and threw all of his change down on the table and I seen it in there and I snuck it in there and counted the change out and kept it and the other one I um, found in a drawer after having a conversation with my boss when he was bragging about he found a 1960 something 40 percent half dollar I got a 90 percent silver um, this one in the plastic is a 1936. This is the 45 right here in the middle. That's the one that I got from the smoking guy. And 1935 is that one, the one that I found in the drawer, which is in really good condition. It doesn't really show up, but they're all three of them are in pretty good shape. Um, the rest of the silver dimes, um, these are found in rolls of dimes. Just digging through. Just got lucky and found them. Um, this is a 1952, 1964, 1947, a 1950, um, a 1962 for this one, 1954. So there are, a lot of them are still pretty shiny. Uh, 1961. 1956, 1946, 1962, a 1950, a 1964, and a 1947. Those are all, all of these were found at Walgreens, digging through the drawers and opening up some rolls. They're a lot harder to find too, but not as hard as the quarters. Um, that's all my silver I have. Well, I have this, too, which I forgot about. This is what the girlfriend gave me. 1941 nickel. That's just in there because uh, that was the year my grandpa was born, and he died last year. So I just kept that in there. Um, a uh, steel penny. I can't remember what the steel pennies years are. Uh, sorry about that. 1943, and this is a really good looking uh, 1942 penny. I mean, it's really really pretty. Found that in the, the drawer at the store, and then the American Eagle, one ounce fine silver. So that's. A, I think silver is now what thirty five dollars an ounce, thirty five dollar coin. Oh yeah. Not that I'm gonna sell it or get it melted down, unless I have to. <laughs> um, and then I have my Ike dollars, uh, seventy to seventy seven, I believe. Those are my other video, the bicentennial. Um, these are some Wheaties, um, these are the, uh, 2009 special pennies with the log cabin and the, uh, Abraham Lincoln sitting on the log, the Capitol, and, um, something else, I can't remember what, oh, the treasure building, and then these are the shield pennies that came out. 
And this is a roll of wheat pennies. Uh, there's 50 in there. Um, I also have an uncirculated roll of the the uh, shield pennies. Um, it has a looks like when they got rolled from the mint factory, they got kind of cut around Lincoln's head and stuff. So I don't know why it's like that. So see the shield. Picked that up at Walgreens too. <laughs> Um, and then here's some of my bills. These are new. Well, new to YouTube. Um, it's a 1957 Series B silver certificate star note. Uh, 1957 A Series uh, silver certificate star note. Um, and a 1957 silver certificate star note. Um, those I bought off eBay for around $12 for all three of them. Um, this is a silver certificate, 1957B. I got this working at Walgreens, I mean, working at Sonic. Um, this is a $2, uh, $2 bill, 1976. It's kind of an air note. The Seal is kind of hanging over the Washington D.C. lettering, so I kind of kept it. Um, a five-dollar red seal. Uh, this is the United States note, uh, not the Federal Reserve note. Uh, so it's 1963. Um, there's that. Gotta hurry up and film this. I have a 2001 Bahama $1 bill. I can't remember where I got this from. I don't know where I got it. And then, look to the light, you can see the, uh, the ship. And then on the other side, there's a pineapple, I believe, somewhere. Maybe that's for Jamaica, but there's the ship right there. Um, there's that. In order. Yeah, and of course, I mean, these silver certificates aren't in that good a shape. But I mean, they're star notes, and I like them. Um, this is a 1963 A. 1963. Uh, 1969 star note. I these 63s and 69s are in pretty good condition, I mean, for how old they are. I mean, they're not in too bad of shape. 1963. A 1963 uh, A star note. Excuse me, it's another 1963. 1965 $2 bill and a $1,976 $2 bill. And these are one of my favorite bills. Um, I bought these off eBay also. I got these two for uh, $15, I think. Uh, it's a 19, 1963 $2 bill, United States note in pretty good shape. I was surprised at how good of a shape it is. And then this is a 1928 G $2 bill Red Seal United States note. It's my favorite bill. Um, this one I got for probably $10 I think. So yep that's my coin collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, and I hope to have more vids out for you guys. Thanks a lot. See ya.